All right, I'm on my way up the frosty mountain trail. Finally, I've been waiting for this day for a long time. I wanted to do it, but it's been, there's been so much snow for so long. There's still snow up there, but I think that there's, um, it's packed down enough and all that. There's been a number of people that have been up, so I feel confident that I'm prepared, and if not, I can always turn back. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, today is July 14th, so I'll update you all along the way. All right, we've been going for a bit now. There's uh, starting to be fewer trees around. It's kind of the, getting close to the subalpine sort of area. Still pretty forested in some spots though. But here's this beautiful place. Look at that, there's mountains. Frosty's hidden behind this one. So I'll be going up there. That's where I'm headed. <laughs> See you again soon. All right, so we're walking now through a little bit of a meadow. It's really cool to see how different it is higher up in the subalpine. Trees, they're still all right, pretty good size, but it's more sparse. Some of them are smaller. And uh, you could tell that the, that the snow is not too far gone here um, because just uh, some of the, it, it's still, the plants are still coming up is what I'm trying to say. Um, there's a little patch of snow right there. It's crazy that it's, the 14th of July and the snow is only freshly gone from this area. Um, I know I'll encounter more snow eventually but it's definitely going quicker now. We've had some really really sunny days for the past few weeks and uh, warmer weather with that sun so yeah but it's beautiful here. It's nice that you can see more of the open forest floor versus being um, all underbrush and stuff. This is cool, look at all these little tiny trees. <laughs> and through those trees, dang, you can't see it from this angle. I'll take a photo in a second. You can see the summit where I'm going. Crazy, I have, um, <clears throat> sorry. I have not seen anybody on this trail yet and even at the campground. This is the Frosty Creek Camp. Got a nice little uh, hut there. Not a single person, so, and it's such a beautiful day. Uh, it's, so, it's Thursday, but you'd think somebody else would be here. Anyways, maybe I'll see somebody later on. Um, but yeah, I might stop for a little bit of a snack now. Doesn't even begin to do it justice. That is incredible. <sighs> So nice. These are the larches. Um, they're just uh, they're tamarack trees, is what we call them out in Ontario. But they they lose their needles. They're a deciduous coniferous tree. And they lose their needles, and as you can see, um, it's starting to get snowy and chilly too. But I'm up pretty darn high. I'm excited. So I learned something. Um, so these larches, there's a sign here that talks about it. These larches are called the Alpine Larch and they are BC's oldest living trees. So some of these trees around here are up to 3,000 years old. That's crazy. Like say this one that I'm walking up to. Um, that one's not very thick. But that's because the growing season is so short here. All right, I'm in the Alpine. That's where I'm trying to go to. Just gotta go up there first and walk across. It's beautiful. The trees, there's barely any trees other than that one. And now it's a scramble all the way to the top. Battery's gonna die soon, so I don't have much more ability to film.
Oops, but that's pre zoomed in. Eh? On my way to the summit, and just look at, oh, you're just so jagged and beautiful. It's incredible. There's the line, the border line you see going over those hills. <laughs> half this is Canada, half this is the US. Well, I made it to the top. 2,408 meters. There I am. It's so, so beautiful. I think that I can see Anna's mountains over there. Wouldn't that be pretty cool?